This week's video tip is on the management of the licensed activated machines in your account. Generally speaking, when you buy Song Surgeon or Video Surgeon, your purchase comes with the right to install and activate on up to three machines at once. There are some exceptions to this, but for purposes of this video, we will assume three. One other point of order is that we will be using Song Surgeon as the example product for this video, but the system is exactly the same for Video Surgeon. Let me clear up one misconception as we get started here. I want to let you know that you can download and install our programs as many times as you want. There are no restrictions on downloading or installing. However, what there is a restriction on is having machines activated, and for that there is a restriction of three machines. Okay, as you can see from my screen, we've got the main user interface open for Song Surgeon, and I want to begin by showing you one of the two ways in which you can manage the number of licensed machines. So whether you're on Song Surgeon or Video Surgeon, you can go to the Help button, you can go to the deactivate computer and when you select that you get a prompt saying do you really want to do this and if you click yes it will deactivate this machine and it will remove this license from your list of licensed machines so that is the first way in which you can deactivate and therefore manage a licensed machine and if for example you're buying a new machine and getting rid of an old machine this is an excellent way in which you might want to manage the licenses by getting rid of this old machine in our list of licensed machines the second way in which you can manage licensed machines is by going to our website you click the my account button and you'll get a screen that looks like this and then you'll go ahead and log in and I have my credentials pre-filled here so once you log in you should see a screen that looks like this and it's really divided into four quadrants the contact information over here on the top left and you can edit any of these things just remember that if you edit either your first name last name or email address it's going to change the way in which you register in the future any of your machines and it's also going to require you to re-register a single time on each of your machines. We have the download link section which is pretty self-explanatory. We have the order history where you'll be able to see all of the orders that you've placed. And then lastly we have the licensed management section and this is what I'd like to draw your attention to. So this is the second way in which you can manage licenses, and that is that if you log into the My Account page, you will see the machines that are registered and activated within our system. And in this case, you can see that I have one. If I click the Delete button, it will remove that machine from the list of licensed machines, and I will have zero activated, which means I will have three slots open that I can use. So, for example, if you have three machines listed here and you're getting a new one, you might want to delete one of these to make room for the new one. Because if you delete one, you'll decrease the number of machines from three to two. If you have two activated machines, you'll have one slot open for that third, that new machine that you're talking about. The last question then becomes for most people, well, how do I know what this number refers to? And the easy way to figure that out is if you'll remember what it is, and I'm going to just remind you it's 3D as in dog 07. Those are the last four digits. If we go back to Song Surgeon and we go to Help and we go to Manual License, near the top of this screen we see something that says your MAC address is, and then you see this, and what do we see here? 3D07. So this MAC address here. So this MAC address here is linked to this particular license. So if we delete this license, it will actually deactivate this particular machine. In Video Surgeon, you go to the same place. You go to Help, 
and manual license again and it may say something different it may say your machine name is or it may say your machine ID is but whatever number here is highlighted this is the identifier that we use on the my account page to track your machine so that's the machine that we're talking about in this particular case so if you have three machines and you're trying to figure out which one you should delete you can go to the machine that you'd like to remove the license from and you can see what that machine ID is by checking here and then you know that that's the one that you want to delete so that's going to conclude this week's video tip on managing your license machines in both Song Surgeon and Video Surgeon. I hope you found this helpful and we'll look forward to seeing you next week.